Stop. What's all this about? Lady Kuching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Lyra Qixing. Who are you? Well, as it happens, I am one of the Li Wei Qixing. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Chising. Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still... This is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Qixing? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyu Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? <sighs> Another super bold statement. <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Li Yue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber as the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? But, but... Wait, that's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Li Yue's culture! We need to get one! Not to curry favor or anything, just to... Respect Liu's culture. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Well then. May we meet again, Traveler. Well, that Yuehung may not respect the gods.
gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night. Sugar frosted slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? With a certain boom shakalaka, of course. Let's go gather ingredients. Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. 